Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, Mason D. Ordnance. This is a Middle Eastern discovery set that I received, uh, and the request is for me to do a review on it. So I wanted to give an opportunity for us to talk about it. There is a total of five um, fragrances inside, uh, both uh, unisex mostly, right? The fragrances can be worn by both men and women. And throughout the video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. It was uh, carefully put together to give you a wide variety of fragrances that should meet any uh, level of what a person would want to smell that would fall under a soft, sweet oud and musk. So my mindset was that this was going to be more gearing towards females. Uh, but what it turned out to be is there was a couple of fragrances in there that could be, in my opinion, worn by men more than worn by women. So if this is something you will be interested in knowing more about, and of course, in the description, I would have a link so that you too can get the discovery set or maybe even get one of the bottles if you like the way I've described it. If that sounds interesting to you, then please stay tuned. Okay, so let's start off with the first one. Khalees El Maliki Majestic. Now this one here has a, it's a unisex fragrance. However, in my opinion, it does lean feminine. Uh, it has a nice, creamy, buttery, latonic caramel opening. But then it quickly moves into like a burst of citrus and floral notes so it's like almost like a bouquet of flowers right there is a slight powdery note but not enough to say that that is what this fragrance is to me is mostly warm amber um argyle wood and musky like a more of a musty not a musty but like a really heavy woody note the bottle is absolutely gorgeous so to give you an idea of what I mean when I say the opening, the opening reminds me of like caramel and hazelnut, but then it quickly moves into a bouquet of flowers. Now, Jawad El Layla Gold, that's what I think it is. And if I'm saying it wrong, then I apologize. This one has the most gorgeous pineapple like a juicy pineapple note it's a little tangy uh with a soft accord of metallics in the background but a gorgeous pineapple note this i know for sure is a unisex fragrance i think that it would be beautiful on men and women uh on top of that it has a amory rose uh like dry down to it it's very captivating um out of all of the ones that came in the pack uh, this is one i know for sure i'm going to make a full bottle of even though it did have a must it dry down too it was more like soft skin clean skin dry down this was like a delicious pineapple matter of fact like a pineapple upside down cake that is what this fragrance reminded me of. I absolutely love this one. Uh, this one here is Khalees Musk. This is for all of my fruity, fresh girlies, right? That's looking for a fragrance that is fruity, uh, not too sweet in the background. So this is another take on the first one we talked about, which was Khalees Al Maliki Majestic. But this one is more on the route of fruity notes, okay? So there's orange, pear, green apple, strawberry. And though it does still have some floral notes in it, the floral notes is like a, like a supporting act. This is absolutely delightful and luscious. Uh, the green apple is like mouth-watering in this fragrance. Uh, mostly for me, like I said, this is for the fruity, more aquatic lover of a fragrance. It's not too heavy. Um, it's just really pretty, like just a really pretty soft scent. Great for the springtime. In my personal opinion, uh, this one to me comes off, uh, very similar to like a, 
I don't like a fruit basket, right? If you think of something uh, like a bowl of fruit, right? Uh, that's kind of on the level of what I would think. So you, if, if you, like you see a bowl of fruit on a table when you go to someone's house or you get a fruit salad, that is what this fragrance is. This or Rue, Rueat, I think, La Oud. This to me, though it said it is unisex, leans more masculine. It does have a bit of gourmand structure to it, but not a lot, right? The notes in it are mostly oud, rose, mint, saffron. The base is vanilla and caramel, but I think the oud in it is a bit um, predominant. And that mint note that makes me think it's more of a masculine scent. Because there's a leathery note to it and some sandalwood. Even though those are not listed in the um, in the details to what is in this fragrance, I get a lot of a leathery, like almost like a leather jacket type leathery note in it. So that's why for me, I feel like this would work beautifully on male chemistry because of that cool green mint note. It would be quite refreshing. Uh, so for me, I constantly, I totally get oud, mint, and rose. Those are the two. Uh, it doesn't lean unisex for me. And the last one that was in the package is called Oud Khalif. Uh, this one here could be unisex if you are, I would say you have to be a strong, confident woman to pull this one off. Because again, that Oud is very predominant in it and it has a heavy honey note. So initially off the notes that were in it, the mandarin, the jasmine, rose, peach, sandalwood, and sugar, I just knew that I was going to love this one, right? Uh, but it pulled off spicy. Like it had a spicy undertone and the honey note in it was not like um, sticky honey. It was almost like beeswax type honey, right? There is a mandarin and bergamot opening to it, uh, which does soften the oud. So uh, this is one that's going to last on your skin for like from you, when you spray it, it's going to last all day. Uh, the peachy note that's in it really pulls off more raspberry for me. Uh, so if you will, if you like raspberry, I think that you would like the fruity note in it. I get a lot of jasmine uh, in the floral notes that's in it. I get a lot of jasmine. Um, almost like a luscious, eloquent accord jasmine. Um, your alien level type jasmine is what I kind of get with this one. So I don't dislike it. And I think that, so take that with a grain of salt. I am a person who oud is um, still a note that I'm working towards. Uh, so if you love oud, you've gotten into oud and it's something that you could actually wear, then I say, let's not be uh, intimidated by my description. Go for it. Like, you know, go ahead and wear it. If you're looking for a sandalwood, the sandalwood in it is not going to be a creamy sandalwood. It's going to be more of a woody type of sandalwood. And the sugar note in it is not um, very sweet. Uh, it's it's more like, like I said, it's a, it just comes off to me as a secondary note um that they added in it almost like you know how fragrances tend to add a lot of vanilla in it that's what this is to me so i say sandalwood heavy fragrance this is a sandalwood heavy fragrance if you love sandalwood more on the woody side of sandalwood not the creamy side of sandalwood with a touch of rose then this is your fragrance